there YouTube. Uh, hopefully this will be a short video here on the number two rat rod. I need to do something with the grill. Now I've got the shell mounted and now that I've got the fan for the engine installed and everything back together with that. Uh, I need something over the front to kind of hide it. So uh, I've been brainstorming. I've gone through everything I've had. I've looked at stuff as I mean I've gone as far as looking at cheese graters at Walmart trying to find something with a a pattern or a mesh something metal to use and um, my parents <laughs> they're always looking out for me so they they sent me some stuff in the mail and uh, I think it'll look pretty cool it's just some of this wire trash can office organizer type deals um, it's a real fine mesh um, We'll obviously paint it. <laughs> so instead of hacking up the big one, and I've got some round things in there, I'm gonna save that for future. And I've got this little one here, and I've traced the outline of the grill, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out, and we'll see. Luckily, I have enough uh, in case I mess up the first time. Let's see how much. I, this this is the outline of the outside of the grill, the actual grill shell, grill housing, and. Uh, We'll see, I'm going to just go ahead and cut it out there, and I'm thinking I can fold the edges of it in and attach it to the inside of the grill shell itself, so. Ah, I'm not going to dilly around talking about stuff, let's just get to uh, cutting metal. Alright, so I got it rough cut. Um, tricky part's going to be the kind of eyebrow at the top but I think I don't know <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge I'm trying to shape it and I'm gonna to have to try to fold the edges nice and flat to fit down inside of there and to top that off I've got it to clear for my mounts that I've made down there so I won't be able to fold the bottom in um, obviously it's a little too tall so I'm gonna go ahead and try to mark it where my folds need to be Alright, so that's what it looks like in there. Fits pretty well. Um, stays in pretty good, but I, I need to attach it better. Um, I'm going to have to take the grill shell off and probably just drill a couple holes and tap it from the inside just to get some screws going in this way. Um, not sure yet how I want to handle that. I don't want to drill too much on my 3D printed plastic because I just don't know how tough it's going to gonna be and I'm still not sure I'm gonna paint that yet it kind of looks cool with the bright green it's kind of a contrast um, I don't know I'm, I'm looking at my paint selection up here seeing if there's anything uh, that would stand out a little more or fit just a little better with that rust colored body um, I could sand it scuff it sandblast it even and make it rust that might pop having another uh, layer of real rust there. Uh, I don't really want to get the sandblaster out and get going tonight with that because it's just kind of a mess. So let me do some digging around here and see what I can come up with. Alright guys, so I got it without using screws. What I did, I folded the sides in and I folded them one more time back so it kind of wedges itself in there. Um, it's in there really, really solid. It's not coming out. Um, I left it green for now. I I just don't. It's too cold outside. It's barely above freezing. I don't know what I want to paint it. I did sand it down. That green finish comes off pretty easily. Um, I probably could have sanded it a bit more. I might do that, but uh, I've got my mix here that I've been using to weather the metal. I can't find anything to squirt it on with. <laughs> so. I guess I'm just going to have to stick my finger in it and flick it on this because there's some bare metal spots on it and I'm trying to... I wanted to get it pretty good without having to use up a whole lot of the material. This is a this is half and half white vinegar and um, hydrogen peroxide. This is what I used on the firewall. You can see it came out pretty good. Not, 
not too much. I I don't know exactly the best way to, to do that. When I did the firewall, I soaked it overnight in the sink. And uh, it had a big bunch of big clumpy rust on it, but a lot of it washed off when I, I drained the sink and, and rinsed it off. But once I took that outside and just let it sit in the air for a couple hours, that's how it got the look that it got. It, it really did more for it sitting outside than it did uh, soaking in the sink. So I think that's the way to go. Just get it on there and then let it air out. I think it has to have the air to really get into the metal. So I guess I'm going to flick a little bit of this stuff on there and we'll just have to wait and see eventually what what it looks like. It will come out fairly easily if I do decide to paint it later or I want to go more serious on the rust. So uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to wrap this one up. Since I still don't know exactly how I'm going to get that on there. But anyways, uh, just a little quick video using household items to build hot rods <laughs> and you can use that mesh for anything you could put that as a grill in your Hilux if you cut out the plastic you could put that behind it I mean there's just unlimited ideas looking around your house you might find something that would work better that's what's fun about the, the scale hobby is there's just unlimited possibilities but uh, appreciate everybody watching and please like subscribe and share and I'll see y'all in the next video